Hello friends, welcome back to Max Lecture Series. In this series, we are learning how to obtain the solutions for different types of first order differential equation. In this way, let us take one more equation. If you observe the given equation, of course, yes, it is by looking itself, we can guess, sir, it is in the standard format only. We know the standard format can be written as dy by dx plus p times of y equal to q. When we are comparing the standard expression with the given, from this we can simply write the value of p equal to 1 and the value of q equal to e power x. But observe the question, what we were asked, we are requested to calculate the value of y of 1 equal to dash. For that, first to find out the value of solution y of x equal to dash. Let us try, we know after collecting the value of p and q, we have to immediately proceed with the integral factor it can be written as e power integral of p dot we have to do the integration with respect to x ok sir. So, from here e power p equal to 1 with respect to dx this will become simply e power x after finding integral factor immediately proceed to find the solution for y. So, y dot integral factor equal to integral of integral factor it should be multiplied with the q dot dx plus constant k. After that, let us substitute all this value y dot integral factor became e power x equal to integral of integral factor e power x dot. What is the value of q? q equal to e power x only. So, we got that the value of, we found that the value of q also going to be e power x only. So, let us substitute e power x dot dx plus constant k. After that, see there e power x dot e power x will become e power 2 x integral of e power 2 x dot dx plus constant k. After that integration of e power 2 x will become once again e power 2 x internal differentiation will give you one more 2 that will lies in the denominator plus k. Yes, after that what we have to do? So, we have on the right hand side y dot sorry left hand side y dot e power x. Now, it is time to pass this e power x to the right, right hand side such that it will become e power 2 x upon 2 dot e power x plus k upon e power x. So, proceed sorry from here we can proceed further. If we bring this e power x to the numerator, it will become e power minus x. So, e power 2 x minus e power minus x will become what? Sorry, e power 2 x dot e power minus x will become e power x only upon 2 s yes. plus bring this e power x to the numerator, it will become k dot e power minus x. That is the solution. Of course, this y can be written as y of x because y is depending on x only. Ok sir, anyway this is going to be the final solution, but we cannot stop with this, this is not the question, this is not the question. What is the question? We have to proceed further in order to bring the final answer. So, let us first try to bring the answer, bring the bring out the answer for uh, constant k. For that they have given some clue, y of 0 equal to 1 I think, let us go back uh, to cross check once, yes y of 0 equal to 1 that is what given. So, y of 0 means x equal to 0 e power 0 upon 2 plus k dot e power minus 0. Anyway, minus is insignificant for 0 e power 0 will become 1. So, 1 by 2 y of 0 also equal to 1 plus k. From this we can write the value of k equal to 1 by 2. Let us substitute this value into the standard expression such that our standard expression can be written as y of x equal to e power x upon 2 plus am I right? Yes, k will be replaced by 1 by 2. So, we can write e power minus x upon 2. See there, anyway what is happening here? e power x plus e power minus x by 2, we can write denominator become common now. Ok sir, let us stop with this. After that, this is also not the solution. Why? Because the question is find the value of y of 1. So, replace x by 1 such that what you will be obtaining? You will be getting e power 1 plus e power minus 1 whole divided by 2. So, this is going to be our finalized answer. Yes or no? Yes. So, we can say this is our finalized answer. So, that is how we are finding the solution for various uh, types of uh, differential equations with the help of the standard model that we are following. I would like to conclude that 
the method that we are following. So far, I did not told what is the name of this, uh, nothing I told, just uh, whenever you are observing the first order equation in this format, simply follow this procedure. What is this name? Who identified this? Actually, the name of this method, this is called Leibniz linear uh, solution for Leibniz linear equations. This equation is founded by a scientist, his name is Leibniz. So, let me write down here Leibniz linear model. This is the standard method we are following invented by this Leibniz. This is called Leibniz linear model solution for first order differential equation. He found and he told that whenever you are observing the differential equation in this format, you can follow my procedure. So, this is called Leibniz linear model equation. Okay? So, this is all for this lecture. In the next lecture, we will be coming up with one more question. Thank you all.